I will be introducing a bill that will pr prohibit advertising of unhealthy food and drink that's directed at persons under the under 13 years of age. So, so that that in effect is the bill, and uh, the reason why we are doing it is because we believe obesity has become an epidemic, and we know that a lot of parents and organizations are profoundly concerned, and they're looking for action from governments. This is going to be the second time this bill is presented. What will be different this time? Well, the, uh, the previous bill that I presented two years ago uh, banned all foods uh, and drink to children under the age of 13. This particular bill, however, simply bans unhealthy foods. And that, that's the difference between uh, this one and the other one. But the fact is the same. We know that the Ontario Medical Association is saying that 27% of uh, young people aged 2 to, to uh, 17 have an overweight and obesity problem. We know from the OMA that it costs about $2.4 billion to, to treat the problem that ob obesity brings. And it brings diabetes, it brings uh, heart problems, it, it, it brings even cancer. Uh, it, it brings a lot of unhealthy factors in people's lives. And if we want to help young people who become obese as they get older, and so we want to help adults as well, if we want to deal with this problem, we've got to take action. And in my view, if governments do not take the responsibility to, to, to deal with this issue, uh, then we, we, this problem will get worse. In the two years since you first presented this private member's bill or a version of it, the healthy eating message certainly has resonated. It's everywhere. It's in the headlines almost every day. How much support do you think that you're going to get? And do you feel that this is a much different situation than when it was presented uh, two years ago? You know, the, the, only, the only difference is that people are becoming much more aware that commercials directed to kids affects them and they and the kids don't have the the intellectual discriminatory power to understand what they're getting so when they're watching these commercials they are they're affected by it and they're going to convince mom and dad to buy them those products and we know the kids have incredible pest power we know that they have incredible lobbying power and they are great lobbyists for the for the fast food industry and they will persuade their parents, no matter what it takes, to get them the foods or drinks that they see on those commercials day in and day out. And so we, we want to help parents. We, we, and we know that people say, oh, you, you're creating a nanny state. And we, and we know this is a, a difficult issue for some, but we know that parents uh, in today's society need better tools to, to deal with these issues. And, and so we know we can't put a fence around the ocean, but we can put a lifeguard on that beach. And that's what parents are looking for. They're looking for support and they're looking to governments to, 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 do, to take measures such as this one. Finally, why do you feel so strongly about this issue? Well, we, we're all affected. Um, all of us are affected by this, either personally and or in a general way. This is an incredible cost to individuals' uh, lives and an incredible cost to our healthcare system. It, it affects kids in more ways than you can imagine. It affects self-esteem, it really does. Uh, and, and often bullying is connected to this, but most particularly it affects their health and their lives. And, and so we feel that we need to do something. I, I'm the education critic. I used to, for the New Democratic Party, and I used to be the, uh, a teacher uh, a long time ago. So I'm very, very connected to, to these issues on a regular basis. And I felt that we, 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 I, uh, we need to take action and we need to do something before this situation gets, uh, gets worse. If it's, an if it's an epidemic now, it, it can only get worse unless we take action now. Thanks very much for your time. I thank you.